Hey subscribers and watchers, it's Bivs here from Slide Nerd. In this video, I'm going to integrate our navigation drawer tightly with our app. Now, if you go to playlist and if you go to material design, in the last video, I was talking about how to use a swipe to refresh layout in video number 50. Today, I'm going to talk about how we can get started with our navigation drawer. So going back, I have made some changes to the app. Let's take a look at those changes first. Here is our app. For starters, you notice that the icons have been changed. I managed to find some icons for this. Then if you go to the movies tab, this is what we have with animations and animators and everything currently working. And here's our navigation drawer as well where I'm going to do some changes today. Again, the icons have been made in orange color, which is our color accent for the drawer currently. And I have added the items. It's the same method fragment drawer.java where there's a method called get data where we earlier had our array list initialized and constructed. Here I've simply called get resources or get string array where I have said r dot array dot drawer underscore tabs. So if you go down to our values file and you notice what this drawer underscore tabs is, it's basically a string array with all the three names that we want to list inside. And our job is pretty simple. We want to click on one of these fragments and we want to be taken to that appropriate fragment inside our activity. And that's what we're going to configure in this video. So coming back to our file, which is fragment drawer.java inside the on create view method, we have our recycler drawers listener, which is basically triggered when you touch or click on the recycler view. So here in the on click method, I have simply closed the drawer currently. Now let's take a look at that in action. Again, if you start the drawer, you say hits here and it's going to close. Nothing else is going to happen. But what we want to do is send which item was clicked and based on that, make decision inside our main activity to switch to the appropriate tab so let's do that with the help of our get activity here we can simply say get activity dot now we need to call some method on our activity where we are going to pass the index of this item that was clicked and first we go to our main activity where we're going to make some changes so there's activity main here i will have a method inside this called public void on drawer item click now the best way to do this would be to have an interface and then ask the fragment to implement that interface but right now I'm going to take a shortcut. So here I will have my ind index over here saying int index and based on this index I'm going to change the contents of the tab. Now going back to fragment drawer all I have to do is say get activity typecast this to activity main and then call the method on that by simply saying dot on drawer item clicked pass the index which is position in our case that's all you got to do so inside the activity underscore main what I'm gonna do is try to switch to that appropriate tab all you got to do here in that on drawer item clicked is get a reference to your pager and set the current item on that pager as index and once you're done with this you are done so let's run the app and see this in action so there's our toolbar popping in and if you open the drawer right now, you click on search, we are already on search. If you go ahead, click hits, we are the second tab. If you go ahead, click upcoming, we are the third tab and so on. Now to switch to activities, you would have to do something very similar. However, you'll be launching a new intent that takes you to a new activity. If you want the same navigation drawer across all activities, that is going to be a lot of code to cover in a video. Which is why I'll probably put it up on my site slidenote.com. And by the way, just to let you know, there's Swift and Xcode stuff going on on my site currently by Anki. So be sure to check that out as well. And of course, we have social login set up for you guys. You can log in with anything and register on our site. All the tools are available. So going back to this, if you take a look at the common navigation drawer pattern, there is one article, very nice one by Michinux.net, which is the one which I would suggest that it's pretty good. However, this article is outdated because it deals with the action bar and list view, both of which are deprecated as per material design. I'll be adding something on this on slide note with the recycler view and toolbar. So getting back to things, let's fix this one more item inside our navigation drawer. Right now we have this stupid image here, but most of you are probably interested in putting a gravatar over here with a name to display something out there. And we can do that very easily. I don't know why this is pretty complex for most of you, but don't worry, I'll simplify it. So going to our circular image view library, we are going to need this one to display this circular image view. So first, let's add a dependency for this. We can go there to our apps, build.gradle file, add the Gradle scripts property here. And all we got to do is add this library and say sync now. 
So going to our file where we have our fragment underscore navigation drawer, we currently have this linear layout and we have this image view being displayed as part of that linear layout. Now that's not a good thing to do. We want to have only a recycler view inside the entire app. So we need a recycler view that is basically sectioned. It has headers and footers. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So from the fragment drawer, I have removed all the additional items out there. And this is what you see when you open the drawer. There is no sign of that image anymore. What we want to do is make that image a header in, the, in this recycler view. And that can be done by going to our adapter. First of all, let's create a simple layout and try to see how that's going to look. We can go here, say new layout resource file and we can say drawer header let's just add a text view and see how this looks so let's keep the root element as linear layout and click ok for now add this file to get yes so going to the text part here i'm going to add a text view here i will replace the simple text view with a gravatar and a person's name as we go further the next changes that we need to do is inside the adapter drawer now this is the adapter responsible for rendering the recycler view that appears inside our navigation drawer we want to make this section in other words there's going to be a header in the recycler view and then there are going to be items the way we do that is pretty simple first we make two integers one is called type header with zero type item is one of course you can give any values here and you will shortly understand why we need to make these two variables the next thing that we need to do is to tell our adapter that there are going to be two different types of items in our recycler view the way you do that is to override this method called item view type in other words the adapter says okay here's position zero what's the type position one what's the type so here in our case position zero is the header so we can simply have an if else condition here and we can say if the position is zero then return type header of course you can use a ternary operator and do this much shorter but let me show you the long way then you can say if the position is not zero then for any other position it's a type item so this is the first use of those two variables that we just created above to indicate what type of item it is if you go to on create view holder currently we have inflated the r.layout.item drawer that represents a single item however now we have two types we want to check the type if it's a header we want to inflate the layout that is drawer underscore header if it's an item we want to inflate this one which is r.layout.item underscore drawer how do we do this and that can be done easily with this parameter here called view type if it's a header you will get that value over here so we can simply use an if else condition first we can say if view type equals equals type header then inflate something otherwise inflate something else and we can put this item part inside the else part to indicate that we are inflating an item but for the header we can just copy this paste this above and inflate a different layout above which is going to be r drawer header now remember that we need a different view holder as well because this my view holder only works for items because we have a title and an icon specified inside so let's copy this class and paste it and we'll call the other class as drawer or as header holder so we can say header holder and there's a header holder now we rename the above class to item holder and that is done as well and of course we don't need these two things inside our header holder because that consists of only a plain text view so now we go up and we say that when the type is header then inflate a header holder and return that the type is an item then inflate an item holder and return that so that's how we change our code notice how we get an error here indicating incompatible types and that is because the return type of this method on create view holder is header holder if you take a look about the generic parameter we have specified adapter drawer dot header holder now unfortunately we will have to be more generic here because we want to return both types of holders from our adapter and that can be done by saying recycler view dot view holder now this is the generic version of things so we're going to copy this and paste this in all those methods that require and deal with a header holder so that's one of them and there's of course the on bind view header where we're going to of course paste this once again so now comes the next important thing and that is the on bind view holder method here we need to check which type of item we are trying to work with that is pretty simple to do if the holder is the type of header holder then do something otherwise it means that we are working with an item holder class 
and therefore typecast your holder object that you get into an item holder and then call the methods like title and icon which you see here inside our on bind view holder method so this now at this point if you run the app you will notice that this is what we see we see the header that that's great and we see only two items where's the third one and that is because you haven't paid attention to the get item count have you you have to specify that there is n items and one header so that's going to be done by saying size plus one but now when you run the app you're going to run into a crash and that's going to be an index out of bounds exception because you haven't corrected for this addition inside your array list you see that it says material test has stopped working here where you say data dot get position remember position zero is header it's going to go here position one is data dot get one then data dot get two data dot get three but you only have three items so data dot get three is going to cause a crash so you should say position minus one here to compensate for the one extra item that you had it in the get item count method at this point if you run the app you will notice that our section recycler view is going to work let me show you that as well so there's the app running you open the drawer and bam there's our header and our items and that is how you make a sectioned recycler view in android now let's customize the header to add the gravatar and personal data so coming back to code i have a relative layout i have removed that text view and i changed the linear layout we are going to first add our gravatar which is going to be from the library so remember this is the code that you need to paste for our gravatar so let's just put that here and of course we need to customize the width and stuff here let's keep it at 96 dp which is a pretty nice number to work with now we need to specify a source for that image now usually you would download from the internet and then set this programmatically but in this case let's just put an ic launcher or a default image when nothing is available in our case the next thing that we want to do is specify a margin let's do that by saying margin at 16 dp here and there's an app border and the other app attributes have been imported thanks to this namespace at the top so now when we run the app we should be able to see this gravatar let's take a look at that in action here so there's an app running you start the navigation drawer you see the name or the person's photo popping up over here we need to add some additional margin at the top and let's do that as well so at this point i have changed the width a bit because it was looking too big i added some custom margins for the different sides and of course a custom border color and width as well when you run the app this is what you see in the navigation drawer the top area with a nice gravatar now to put your name it's pretty simple we need to make another layout that goes side by side with this one where we can display the details like hi and welcome and blah 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 so let's go and do that as well nothing great to do now just make a linear layout which is vertical to the right of this gravatar image have four different views one below each other one is going to be saying hi the other is going to put your name the third one is going to be a divider the fourth one is going to be the email if possible and when you open this is what you see inside the navigation drawer right now before you run this app and get too excited one little fix that i want to tell you go to the drawer remember inside the on click method of the recycler view when you transmit the position to the activity pass position minus one because in the adapter you added one extra item and therefore position at zero is going to register as the click for the header when you click on the header you don't want the view pager to do anything with it so make sure that you keep this in mind you run back you go to the heads part you go to heads there and if you type to upcoming you go to upcoming you say search you go to search and bam our app is working and as always the code for everything is available on github.com slash slide not go to repositories take this one which is material test now due to updates in android studio which i absolutely hate it has updated or made a new repository instead of updating the old one so if you go to this one this is where all my current project files are in picture and i'll be adding this one today after i finish this video if you like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide Nerd, and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day